Hey everyone, I may sound extremely off today. I am sick. Um, my voice is a little weird. Um, I couldn't wear any like eye makeup so because my eyes were like crusted here. I'm trying to get them to heal and I'm like super gross. So bear with me here. I'm going to do my monthly haul for the month of June. Um, I only tried on, well I let pictures of me trying on two items because I don't have the energy to do the try on portion which I haven't done in a while anyway but I wanted to do the try on portion for you guys but anyway we're going to go on with what I got uh, I'm going to start with two of the items that are sitting here that need to get that hung back up because they're wet this was from the thrift store this was $2 from the thrift store just a light blue tank from Forever 21 and a medium and I know it looks weird because it's wet and it was hanging on my rack because I washed it today. And then I have this item from Kohl's. You're going to see the rest of the stuff after this there. Uh, this was $3 and I got it in a medium. Let me show you guys. This looks like this. It's got a little on it. It's called, it says Kindness Warrior on it. It's just a tank top. Okay, we're going to go on to the rest of my thrift store finds. Uh, let's see. I got this American Eagle skirt in a medium. It was four dollars, and it's just this. You guys can see like gray and white stripe, and it's got a slit. It's just a maxi skirt. I haven't bought skirts in a really long time. I only have two skirts. Um, well, I have three, two at the same one. I have the same one, two in black, same skirt, and one in burgundy, and that's it. Because I haven't liked skirts for a while. Because I'm not a huge fan of my legs, so this maxi skirt was really cute. I wore it. Um, a few days ago, I really liked it. Anyway, I got this shirt. The brand is called W A Y F, and I'm pretty sure it was an Urban Outfitters brand, if I'm not mistaken. And this was it's an extra small, and I got it for eight dollars. And I got this from work. It's really cute. Let's see the pattern. And the back looks like this, and it just laces up a little bit right here. Super cute. I think this was, I think this was an Urban Outfitter brand too. This was six fifty. I got in a medium. The brand is Bob E A U. Um, I didn't realize it <laughs> until I wore it. Like I washed it, I hand washed the item, and I didn't realize it was a huge hole in the sleeve. I stitched it up. I'm not the best at stitching, but I stitched it up. This cardigan is super soft, and I really wanted it, so I bought it. I got this tank, which is by the brand ACEMI. It's a medium, and it was two fifty. Hang it backwards. Just like this. Nothing special. I got to wear like under a blazer or under a cardigan for work. Got a little pattern on it. Just black and white. Pretty nice tank. From Kohl's. I got two pairs of these shorts. They are by Fila. They were $3.50 each and I got them small. And I got these wear underneath dresses and shorts and skirts for the summer. They're just like a spandex exercise. I like them to wear underneath dresses. Uh, so in case it's too short or something. I got this. Parma 9 purse for two dollars and fifty cents. I haven't used it yet, that's why the tag's still on. It's really cute, I thought it'd be perfect for fall. Got a little thing. If I ever need a small purse when I go out, I don't really have one right now. Like that on the inside. I have two items on my list here that I got rid of, I actually returned the Levi's and the other Joby skirt, but I kept this Joby skirt. And this one was five dollars and I got it in medium it's just black and it has a crochet to it at the bottom hope you guys can see that and then I have two items that just came in the mail today for 21 and I did take photos of those so I'll be able to insert those as I show them um, this was twenty six dollars and I got it in a medium and it's this romper combo it's like a romper maxi it has this crisscross in the front. It's a floral pattern. It goes down into shorts and it has this long chiffon train pretty much in the back. Zip, zip. 
I'll show you guys the texture because it'll be easier for you guys to see what it actually looks like. I bought an e.l.f. Sorry, e.l.f. I guess because I have a lot of e.l.f. I just bought an e.l.f. foundation in the color porcelain. I've been trying the wet and wild one. I do like it, but I wanted to try another one. I got the e.l.f. hydrating face primer. This is just a box. All these boxes are going to get recycled. I want to show you guys. This is what it looks like. I've been using it and I really like it. Pump. I bought. I bought this at the beginning of the month, and I'm already almost done it. I really like it. I'm probably gonna buy another one. This is the Elf Bronzer in Golden. Oh, I didn't tell you prices. Foundation was six dollars. The primer was six dollars, and this was four dollars. Packaging. It's real dirty. I've used it every day, so. I guess I put a lot on because I already hit pan, real like pan. I swirl all the colors together, so that's what that looks like. Let me show you what it looks like all swirled together. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a very pretty color though. That's it from Elf. So then we're gonna go on to. I bought a few. What do I have over here? Tarte items. Let me show you the tart. I got this lipstick duo because that's going to be a free mascara and I got 20% off for my birthday. So I got this so I can order something. It's a lip treats duo. It's cruelty free. That looks like. So these are the two the products that I got. One is a lipstick, one ends is a lip gloss. One color is Life and one is VIP. So Life is like a nude color. So that's the color Life and that is VIP. It's like a nude and it's like a mauve nude. I also got their Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. I really like this one actually. I might end up buying the full size because it's really good on my lashes and it is vegan and cruelty free. But um, I don't like spending a lot on mascara. So on my quest to find a dupe for my Revlon Pink Pout, if you guys know I do, let me know. Um, I bought Holy's lipsticks and none of them are a dupe. Um, two of them together are almost a dupe. And I keep bringing them to work and everything melts. I don't even know how. but. I guess the Florida heat is killing the lipsticks, but I got four Wet n Wild and one NYX one. So we'll start with their Wet n Wild. This is Think Pink. I don't know what these ones are called, but they have like the square tops. So we got Think Pink. It's like a really pretty bright pink. This one is Mauve Out of Here. It's a pretty like fuchsia pink to me. This one is Bare It All, which is a nude pink. These are super drying. I wouldn't really recommend them. It's uh, three colors so far. And then this one I just bought. Those were two dollars. This was a dollar. Will you be with me? It's like they're different ones. It's a regular point. It's not like a squared off point. They're all different. It's just is that one. None of them match the pink pout that I like. So. And then, I thought this was going to be a dupe, but it's not. Um, this is, cost me six bucks I bought all mine, because they didn't have it in store anymore. This is Power by NYX, and this is way purple in comparison to the other colors. But, 
on top of other colors, it looks pretty. I can't wear it by itself, that's too purple for me. There's power up there. It's super purple. In pictures, it looks like a pinky mauve, but it's not. So don't be fooled. It's super purple. Unless I just got a bad one, but it's super purple. So those are some of the lipsticks I bought this month on top of the Tarte ones that I purchased. I think the Tarte Duo was $12, so it wasn't too bad. And I got the free mascara and I got 20% off, but 20% off didn't even cover the shipping. This is this month, so I want to show you guys those. I bought this one by Ella and Mila. The color online looks very different to me. It looked like a light creamy red, and it actually is like a mauve, and it's a very similar to another color I own, so I'm kind of sad about it, but it is a vegan and cruelty-free brand, so I do like to support vegan and cruelty-free brands. The packaging looks like. This is the nail polish. Really pretty color. It's just it wasn't what I was expecting, which is my fault. I only looked at like two pictures and was like, "Ooh, I want this." So the color right here that looks almost exactly identical to it, but this is the swatch of it right here. Third one in. It's a very pretty color, but. I didn't need it. I think the other one was like a wet and wild one, so they're both cruelty free and, and vegan, so. And I got three colors from China Glaze, from China Glaze's Spring Collection, and it's their nude collection. And I bought three of the colors, because I love nudes. Um, I love nude colors, so. This is like my favorite colors to wear. I'm wearing like a bright pink though today, so. Anyway, we have, let me start with the latest one. This one is Don't Make Me Blush. Again, these are all similar to ones I already had, so there wasn't any point in buying it, but I'm like, ooh, blush colors, nude colors. That one's right here. The second one is Don't Make Me Blush. And then I have Kill the Lights, which is a little bit of a darker color. And that's the one all the way to the end. And it's called Head to the Toe. And it's definitely, I thought it was similar to um, another China Lace color, but it wasn't. That's why I purchased it. This is the other color right here. I forget what it's called. It was, I think, from the... Um, I don't remember what collection it was. I think it was Pirates of the Caribbean. But anyway, this is the Head Over Tope. It's like a pretty light grayish purple. Okay. I bought two palettes. I'm going to show you those last though. But I'm going to show you two brushes. I bought three brushes from Beach Cosmetics. Only two came in boxes. This is their vegan blending brush. I don't know if all their brushes aren't vegan, but I'm pretty sure they are. But this one specifically is said it's vegan. I'm not 100% sure why. But anyway, this is the Vegan Blending Brush V5. That's the packaging. This is the brush. I like it because it's longer too. You can see in my collection. I needed a few new blending brushes, so that's why I made it. bought these. And I had to hit the amount for free shipping because I was not paying for shipping. Um, this is Blending Brush 12. Is it this one? The fluffy brand blending brush and then i have this one in number 24 i pretty sure this was a blending brush too but this one's more like a flat shader brush it's very dense though i mean it's very um fluffy okay and my reason for placing the bh cosmetics order was for this palette this is the carly bible deluxe palette i'm one of the first one and then I waited for the second one to come out, and I didn't realize it was going to be the same thing, but more stuff in there. So I'm glad that I waited. And this was $22.50. Um, I also bought their Black Light Highlighter Palette, which is like the colorful highlights. Um, and that was $16.99. I'm waiting for that to still come in the mail. But anyway, um, this is the sleeve. I'm probably going to throw it out of the way, but I don't know yet. Because I probably won't use this for a while. I'm going to use it tomorrow when my eyes are better. Hopefully. We'll see but be like heavy for cardboard which is nice 
um, the BH Cosmetics package which there I know very well. It did take 10 years to get here for me. It, um, I ordered it on the 15th and I got it yesterday, the 28th, so kind of sad about waiting and then one of my items not being in there, but they were very good. They just wanted me to take a picture of the package and my slip and what I got. So yeah. This is the Closet Carly Bible Deluxe Edition 21 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette. It has a little gold writing. It's really pretty. I'm going to do quick swatches for you guys, but if you want a tutorial or anything, let me know. The inside has a mirror and it says Aspire to Inspire. And this is what it looks like. I already swatched some when I first got it. I should have some fake. My fingers are, but. So it's 15 eyeshadows and 6 highlighters. So I'm going to do swatches because I only swatched like 2 or 3 of them, so I'm excited. So I'll do one row at a time. Oh god, I did this horribly. I'm gonna have to get up to show you. I did it so it's easy for me, but not easy for you guys. So here's swatches. This is from this first color. This is the first row, second row, and then third row. So let me show you guys. I'll make a mess. I'm really bad at swatching. Okay, so that's the colors. Let me show you close up, slow mo here. And then I'll do highlighters. What I really like about this palette is that this is like a red row, this is like a purpley row, and this is a golden row. So you get three different palettes pretty much, like quints. Is that five? Five is a quint? I'm pretty sure. Real pretty. I really love the shimmery shades the most. I'm a shimmery type of person. So I'm gonna swatch the highlighters. Let me see how I can do it. I guess I have to swatch it here. So I can't see that for myself, like when I'm swatching. So I don't know how people do. So here are the, oh god, I did a bad job again, highlighters. This is the two, um, one's on top of the, like, rosy gold and the other gold. And this is the white color, it's the pinky, like, purple white. This is the darker gold, and this is, like, a coppery color. These two would be more like eyeshadows for me. I don't think I could pull them up as highlighters, but these are really great for darker skin tones. You could probably use these for darker skin tones too. These would be closer for my skin tone, like these four. And I understand when you're getting a palette and there's face items involved, that they have to make it versatile for multiple skin tones, not just one skin tone. So I'm okay with using the ones that are too dark as eyeshadows or something along those lines. The Carly Bible palette, again. Um, and I bought a second palette this month. Let me show you the packaging. This is by the brand Beauty Creations. And I do a lot of dupes for higher end palettes. This is one's actually a dupe for the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, which I want, but it's expensive. And it's cruelty free brand. So this is the little sleeve it came in. I don't need that. Anyway, this was. I think it was 12 something if I'm not mistaken. So packaging, cheapy looking to the cardboard. Not as nice as the BH one, but I'm not complaining, has a mirror. And then this is what it looks like. Look familiar? Because it is. Um, I was worried it was going to be too similar to this palette that I just bought, but I think they have a good variety of colors, both of them. Size rough. Okay. So I use this probably like four or five times and I am obsessed. So we're gonna do swatches. Uh, I don't have the real one. I mean, I don't have the ABH one, so I can't compare it. But I'm gonna do my best to do some swatches. I'm gonna do like right here. I think that will be the best area. Okay, here's some probably really shitty swatches, but there we go. This is top, middle, bottom. So it's on the left right well for me the 
Okay. Anyways, that's what it looks like. I mean, the quality may not be the same, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to invest in something that I wasn't sure if I would like colors. Uh, and I actually really do like the colors, so I may end up, once this one's out, investing in a palette similar to this. It's a little more high-end, but we'll see. Um, I haven't looked at the ingredients in the ABH one, so yeah, that's that. So that's everything I purchased this month. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you for enduring my sickness. Um, if it was ready right now, so I'm going to finish this video really and then that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you later.